What's up, everybody? It's your pal Nerp here, and hooray, we are actually in the top three. Just barely. Our rating is 1937. Anti-Red's 1936, and Zarks is 1932, I think. So, um, I will, uh, I'll, if they pass me before the end of the week, I'll try to do another match and get past them. I just want to, I want to be in the top three for the, for the week to end so I can get one of these weekly winner badges. Um, yeah, you can see I just played the ranked match to get up to, uh, the top three, because you can see I can spectate it. And I am on my alt account. Um, so like I said, I ranked up a little bit. Um, I used to, I was at one point like 1950 with this account. I had, I went all the way down to like 1600 through the Raid and Decay, and um, I was just playing a bunch, and I'm back up to 1760, which puts me, where is, where is Nerf the Ninja? Er, da, da, da. Am I really outside like the top like 30? Wow. A lot of people high rank down. Um, but today, even though my second account, we're not going to do ranked today. I was doing a lot of ranked videos, and I want to do some judgment today, change of pace. And I have a deck on this account. Whoops. I did. I forgot there was. Did I do. Was this my last judgment video, this deck? I don't know. So, um. Sorry, let me quickly, uh. Log in on my other account. Okay, let's exit this out. Okay, um, there we go. It should show the right account screen now. Yeah, and this main account, yeah, we do not have a deck. Okay, so let's draft. Um, best card here is Elder. And there's a Smuggler down here and a Copperado, so we definitely have energy. These two, these three cards are not that good. Ducal Imagery is pretty good, so is Inferno Blast, Colorado. Pushback is decent, Destroyer is decent, Swarm is decent, Atrocity is, Atrocity is good. Um, Atrocity is not that good. So I think we're definitely in energy the most, so I'll take the Grey Block Elder. Maybe we can get some Grey Blocks. Um, here I definitely see a Wetland Ranger that's really good, but first I'll take the Copper Automaton over the Inferno Blast. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, so, and then there's another Ducal Infantryman in there. I will take the Hired Smuggler, though, because Hired Smugglers are awesome. A Burn, so it definitely looks good for, for energy, but these two rows don't have any energy. But it does have Ragged Wolf and Whisper. Um, Um, sorry about that. Uh, Wetland Ranger. I think I'll go Wetland Ranger and the Ragged Wolf. Definitely Wetland Ranger here. And then let's see what we have down here. Definitely the Gun on the It stays on energy. And I have the Gorilla Cell. So just take the Ragged. And Ragged to Splash. It's good. Burn. And we got a Solemn Giant. Awesome. So Burn, Gun Auto Ton. And we get some different stuff down here. Ooh, that's good. Uh, here I'll definitely take the Solemn Giant. Um, <laughs> Dougal's, we don't, there's no growth or energy here, so I'll just take the best card, I think, which is Dougal Skirmisher. Um, Fury, Dark Strike, Languid, well, we'll take the Gun Auto here, I think, over these guys. And here, probably the Raider, because we do already have a Great Block, so we're still in energy. Um, so I don't think we'll take the Oblivion Seeker, or the Languid. Or the Dark Strikes, I'll take the Fury. Dark Strike is good removal, but the Fury, like, can be really good and, like, judgment, like, a nice, uh, little rally. So now, Grey Block Raider, Gun Automats. This gives growth, and I am doing a Ragged Wolf, but it's all our only growth card so far, so we'll keep taking the energy. I'll take the Gun Auto, and here, I mean, Full Inflammation Conduit is not that good, but I'll, I'll take it. Um, I think I'll probably take the Dust Runner over the Copper Automaton. And there's a Bomb Dispersal there, so it's looking good. 
and I'm not seeing too much good stuff down here. There is actually this throws a couple good, good three good energy cards. Um, I don't know, I'll take the stag card just in case I can get more stag cards. I guess. Maybe I should have taken an animal. I'm not sure. Okay, so destroyer, state machine, or tempest river. How many creatures do we have? We have eight creatures already, and we're only 16 picks in. So I think I'll pass up on the Tempest Reaver. And State Machine or Destroyer. State Machines are really good when you pair them together. So, um... Sorry, the Red Fred. I'm busy right now. Um... I'll go for the Destroyer. Because I, because I don't know. I want the Destroyer. That's more fun. What the heck? Well, where, where are these challenges coming from? Um, that's weird. <laughs> I mean, people do randomly challenge the last piece. I think, uh, I don't know. I think they want to, some people want to play me. And I do play a bunch of people. But not when I'm recording. Uh, let's see. Not great stuff over here. There's Vengeful Vetter, but we're not probably not going to need much growth. I'll take the Golem skin. Who knows? That could be like a win con. Um, I'll take the Atrophy here. Definitely the Blind Rage. Good removal. Um, and now there's a Scatter Gunner down there. What's this? I'll probably take the Oak Blood here. I'll take the Sister of the F ah, Fox. I don't know why I said Fox like that. Fox. Um, Oak Blood, sure. Scatter gunner, and there's a spark down there. What's over here? Um, efficiency. That gives energy. Maybe it'll be an order and energy. So let's take that. And because of that, we have two stack cards. So you know, I'm taking both stack cards. Let's take that stack card. Maybe we can get another stack card. Who knows? And let's see. Spark. Even though. Ah. Uh, but there's a long memorial. And there's a royal skirmisher here, but there's also tool initiate. But there's a cabana there. Ah, no. Spark's too good. Spark is good. Um, tool initiate here. Uh. Earth on what's they even do again? Eh, not worth it. But I'll, I'll take the cabana. Fertile soil. I'll take the fertile soil. Maybe. I'm really not sure what we have with energy. We might not have, need to have anything with energy. We have 18 scrolls already. We just need to get a bunch of energy scrolls. We might be able to stay mono. And we have a storm runner and a copper automaton there, so that's a good start. Uh, I like Dugas Aaron a little more than Gal Defender. So definitely storm runner, copper automaton, and tick bomb. And then we have a tough choice between Oculus Cannon and Ether Pump. And then we have a charge scroll or inferno blast, and not much down here. Good for good scrolls, but not on color. Um, I'll take the ether pump. As good as Oculus Cannon is, I think ether pump is better. Um, and now here, uh, inferno blast or charge coil. How much removal do I have? I mean, this is better. We're looking at blind rage, which is good. Bounce dispersal, which is good. Burn, which is amazing, and spark, which is good. I have good. I have good amount of removal. I have a Kabanko, we might not be, not, we might not be playing that. But Inferno Blast would be really nice. And char I'm gonna, I'm gonna take the Charge Coil. Yeah. And now here, other efficiency. Um, Breaker or Vanguard? I don't think we're getting to five order. Well, we really only get the three order because then you get the wild. But Breaker's not that good. We do have two efficiencies. We might have two efficiencies. We'll take the Vanguard. Um, another charge goal, a replica ton. We'll have to decide there. A frost scale. Vicious strike or boom reaver. I'll take the boom reaver. Uh yeah, I guess efficiency because it could help. There is a Oculus Cannon and we have a replica ton and a charge coil. We already have a charge coil. Two charge coils would be really awesome. How many creatures do we have? 1,300 creatures already. We don't need that many more, so we'll take the charge coil. And I like our structure. If we can get like a divinator or something, that'd be really good. Um, wing spear, sure. 
other efficiency, but the Oculus Cannon is what I'm going to take here. Um, what do we have going on? A burn. Electrify. We have a lot of structures. I think I'm going to take that Electrify. And here, I don't know. Honorable General, just because. Electrify and a burn. Okay. So let's see. We cannot go Mono Energy. Very close. And let's see the cards that we definitely want. I think I definitely want the... Eh, the, the Gravelock Greater, but there is a Gravelock Elder. Do we have any way of, way of buffing his attack, though? I'm not sure. Let's see. Tool Initiate can't buff his attack, right? Yeah, it's our structure. Tool Initiate and uh, whatever it's called, the um, Destroyer is going to be good. I don't know if I want Fulmination Conduit. No, I want Spark. Pretty good. Pretty good draft, I'd say. Um, so those are the cards we definitely want, I think. And let's see, we'll save these for later. I mean, Gom skin, we've lost structure, so it would work. But it'd be like more like a wing con, because we kind of like destroy our own stuff, which is not what you want to do. So we won't, we won't go with Decay, let's see. Order, we only need to choose a couple cards. So order, I mean, growth would be Ragged Wolf, um, Stag Hearts, maybe a Fertile Soil. That could be good, but... I mean, I don't have, like, great sack fodder. My creatures are pretty good. And maybe these gun automatons are the dust runners. And then in order, I would have two efficiencies. Yeah, we're going with order. So we'll go with the two efficiencies. A kabonk. And we need one more. But I don't think it's going to be worth it to get the, the wing spear. And we don't need that many creatures in this deck because we have a Psalm Giant to do massive damage and we have a lot of structures. So let's just add uh, the Fulmination Conduit. Who knows, that can that can help in a pinch, right? So let's name this uh, Energy Order. And let's see if we can find one for pretty fast. Come on, crossing my fingers here that it's not a long wait time. If it is, um, I will either edit the video so it you don't have to wait, or I'll put an annotation on the screen to say what like second or minute to jump to, uh, to skip the skip the wait time. So, yeah, I'll go silent here and wait for it to happen. Okay, well that wasn't too long, so it doesn't look like I'll be doing much with that. And, hello Link Link. Good luck to you, and, I don't know, is this a good starting hand? I think it is. Should I start with the Dust Runner or the Cabarado? I'll start with the Dust Runner. Cabarado is more like a, more like a play you use when you go second, and then your opponent plays something with like two cantons, so you could quickly destroy it. Um... So wherever, whatever he puts this turn, I'll be able to stick a Caparato right in front of it and put even more pressure on if I move my Dust Runner down or up. But he probably doesn't have anything. Okay, he does. But sadly, probably not going to survive. I would bet it doesn't. And for two cost, let's see, for two cost in order, is there anything with... More than three health. Oh, there's a Wings Warder. Okay, so that means what I was doing there is I was deciding if I want to put the Copper Auto behind the Dust Runner or the Copper Auto in front of the Dust Runner and move down. So I guess I'll put it behind because there's nothing that. Actually. Well. I guess it doesn't really matter because I'm killing one of them either way. Efficiency, so good. And we'll sack it. We sack both efficiencies at the start of the match. Whatever. 
and I will put the copper automaton behind because I don't know and hopefully he has nothing with more than he doesn't have a wings warder to like be protection in the front even if he does that we're still killing that wings warder and we have burns and stuff so we, let's see if we can get a stress free win a stress free judgment win well judgment is always usually stress free even if you lose that's why I like judgment it takes the uh takes the um pressure off winning and ranked okay oh yeah that gets extra health doesn't it oh wow oh, 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 no I guess I should have put it the other way around this guy was supposed to be in front silly me well sack we got it gun auto I will just sacrifice you move you up and place a charge coil up here Okay, so now I have a burn for whatever he puts down, or I guess not, because this dude's gonna give it extra health, so I might have to burn him. I can still burn you, and you're not even online with that, so that's gonna be pretty easy. And you go in for growth, okay. So, a copper auto's good, but I'll go for the burn, get that card draw. What do I wanna burn? Burn you, the bigger threat. Move down pressure you if I need so I can have some protection with that ether pump and instrument in sack for a while uh power smuggler is awesome but I'd rather keep the ether pump have some protection you know Let's put the ether pump up here and move him up because this statue is going to heal itself anyways. Now let's hope this pings him. 50-50 chance and we got it. Oh, let me, you know what? Oh, I'm for him. Alright. Okay. And he fills his stuff. Fills his board stuff. It's all good. It's all good. I guess I could burn something this turn but I could wait and I'm gonna just gonna burn it now let's get rid of yeah. what what, he, what do you what does he mean does, does he know how wild works I'll burn I guess you're gonna do more damage I'll burn you and I'm going to sec the tool and sheet for cards. Okay. What does he say? So I won't just getting base ready. Rest can go to wild now. Hmm. Whatever. Uh, let's sec for energy. And I guess that's gonna stop this from attacking, which is annoying. Should we slowly get this thing down? Yeah, let's do it. Let's get a gray block raider down. Um, wilds can be used for anything once you. Oh wait, me. Well now, yeah, he didn't have. An, I was gonna say if he had another faction, there was no reason to not sack for it when you had one of each. Just trying to inform a little bit, make sure he knows what's up. And this is actually gonna kill both of those dudes. Um. So go for the bounce dispersal on you. No, because it's gonna latch onto that. So let's just play the Psalm Giant. Yeah, I, ca I kinda wanna just destroy stuff. Oh, okay, it was a misplay. 
Okay. That makes more sense. Okay. So I could start pumping that thing, and yeah, <laughs> I could probably win pretty soon. <coughs> Sorry, I'm a little under the weather. Hmm. Let's see what he does here. So he can go ahead and destroy my ether pump, which is what he should do. Or he can destroy my grave lock reader. I hope he destroys my grave lock reader because the ether pump is uh, much more important for him to destroy. <laughs> I'd like to destroy this when uh, it's not adjacent to anything. It looks like he is putting it adjacent to stuff. Okay, he does destroy the right thing, but he's putting stuff right there. Like, it's being destroyed. So, hmm. I could pump you, break that, and then destroy this guy in the back. Let's check the fulmination count up for resources. So, we have a lot of choices here. Yeah, let's just fill up the board more. Let's destroy that. So that's going to break both of those. Keep you up there. Um, and let's just play a scatter gunner back here. And a boom reaver. Behind you. Okay, not too bad. So he can kill either of my two health creatures right now. But he may just want to slow down that uh, this thing that's holding down four in a big section of the board right here, front middle. So I've not supposed to destroy anything next turn. Or I can pump. I can pump up that solemn giant. see what Mr. Link Link 99 does. <laughs> okay, he's going to kill my dust runner it looks like. Only has two cars, can't do much. Eternal sword on him again, okay. So I could bounce dispersal. Maybe I bounce dispersal. If I move the Psalm Giant back and pump it, I have a 50% chance of killing this thing. Because if the Charge Girl hits this, and the Psalm Giant kills it, that would be perfect. So I'm going to sacrifice the Electrify. You know, we're going we're gonna to take the risk. I know if we do something else, I could just, like, bounce Sparsel it, and it will be all good. But we're going to take the risk. A Daredevil. Let's do it. Let's move down to. Come on. Come on, Charge Girl, hit that. No! Darn. It would have been beautiful. It would have been beautiful if it hit the, uh, hit the right dude. But the reason I did that because it was, I mean, it was a risky move that doesn't, that I could have just found the first at it. But, yeah, I think we're going to win this game, even if we make that mistake. <sighs> Oh, you get my sleep last night. Oh, he's killing that guy. Okay. Plate armor. Okay. You know, we can go for the 50-50 chance again. Let's do it. I want to do it. Let's just echo this for cards. Let's do it. So the first time it did not work out, and this time it's, and we'll move down to, we want to lure him into destroying these guys if this 50-50 chance does not come through. 
Okay, come on, charge go ahead the better. Yes, this time it works. We get rid of the two eternal swords and that plate armor. Awesome. Took two tries to do that. And we could just use him on the spell to kill him. But it would, I wouldn't have been able to kill him without anything next to it. So now we got rid of both eternal swords. Huh. That was fun. Eh, I think the win was already secured without the charge coil. <laughs> my deck was pretty my deck was pretty good. Okay, he could try. It's probably not gonna work. Okay. Should we put another charge coil down for good measure? Why not? Or I could try to win this game really fast. Yeah, let's try to win really fast. Let's do this. Yay. He's low on cards and he's playing like Go Joes. Okay, um, I guess I'll, uh, I said I was going to win fast, I'm just going to pump up, and I guess I'll sacrifice the Elder, I'll get resources, and, so I'll move both of you up. And can we win next turn? We would need him to put... The unit, only one unit on that row, and it has to be at two or less health, so I can spark it away and pump. Huh. So we probably can't, but we'll see. Sacrificing for scrolls, and he plays a bunny. And is he gonna move down? Stag heart bunny. And is he gonna move anything else down? If not, it's GG. Come on, don't drag this out, dude. Let me get this win right here. I'm gonna get the GG ready. Yes, GG. Okay. Wait, yeah, for a second, yeah, that guy doesn't have plate armor. He had the stag heart. Oop, that was fun. Solemn Giant taking the show. Hooray! There's a win one in judgment. Now on both my accounts, I have one win in judgment. I gotta finish those. Um, yeah. Well... Sorry you guys had to see this conversation right here. So I thank you all for watching. Uh, subscribe if you want more content like this. Like the video if you enjoyed. And I hope you all keep playing scrolls. So I will see you all next time.